to the related to uh, everyone has to offer obeisance to someone hmm. somebody uh, in our practical life at least we have to offer obeisance to the police constable when you go on the street as soon as they stop, so we have to obey. So how you can avoid obeying? They are saying that we don't believe in God. God is there. I am God. But why you are offering obeisances even to this small Conceal. That means you have to offer your obeisance to somebody. That is your position. But we are offering obeisance to the relative truth. Hmm. Relative truth means that has been explained here. तीजुबारी में तीजुबारी में दांग जब था बिनिमयों जब तो तीसरा दम मिसा वे आर ऑफरिंग ओबीसेंसेस टू ए टेम्पररी मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ तीजुबारी में दांग बिनिमयों तीजो means fire, bari means water, and mrit means earth. So you take earth, mix with water, and put it into fire, then grind it, so it becomes mortar, and the brick, and you Prepare a very big skyscraper and offer obeisances there. Yes. Oh, such a big house! This has come Malaysia, but there is another place. Dhamna Sena Nirasta Kuhkam. We are offering here obeisance to the brick, stone, iron, yeah? just like in your country, especially in all Western countries, there are 
so many statues. The same day, Tejo Bari Nidang and Dunimayo. But when we install Diti, actually the form, eternal form of Krishna, uh, nobody offers a they will go to offer obeisances to the dead, just like in British Museum. Mm. Uh, yeah. They are standing in queue to offer obeisances to a dead body. Uh, it has no value, but uh, they are mm. wasting time there. But here, they, they are invited, oh, they are watching idols. Uh, why should I go? Uh, why should I go there? This is called illusion. They are actually doing that, obeisance. Uh, but not to the Supreme Personality of God. Bad they say that I offer my obeisance to the Supreme Absolute Truth, Sattam Param Dhimai. Uh, uh, there is no more truth beyond that. As, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Matta Parataram Nanyad Kinchi Jati Dhananjaya. Matta Beyond me, there is no more uh, superior power, matta parataram, na anyat. So Vaisdev is offering his obeisance to the person above whom there is nobody. God means controller, I have several times explained. But here in our experience we see that one controller is controlled by another controller. Nobody is absolute control. Therefore nobody is absolute truth. But there is, there must be uh, the absolute truth. Janmārda Sajata, as it has begun, the source of all emanation. Now what is that source of emanation? What is the nature? One has to accept with the cause and effect, as we have got experience. In everything there is a cause and the effect. <clears throat> so, the Supreme Cause, uh, Supreme Cause means who has no more cause? Sarva Karana Karana. I am caused by my father. My father is caused by his father. His father, his father, gone, making research. Who is the ultimate father? When you come, there must be some ultimate father. Just like uh, I have my father, my father has got father, his father, as you can see, up to two, three generations upwards, and beyond that he cannot see. That does not mean that the great-grandfather has no father. There must have been some father. Is it very unreasonable? Everyone can understand. Although I cannot see with my limited potency, but with my knowledge, a reasonable knowledge, I can understand that either he may be great grandfather or above that, above that, uh, that uh, he must have some father. The Lord Brahma is called, and therefore, Pitamaha. 
grandfather. Because his original father within this universe, he is the first created being, uh, and he begot uh, so many children. Uh, so all the living entities, they are born of Brahma. Uh, he is called Sisti Karta. Sisti Karta means the creator of this universe. And there are innumerable universes. In each universe there is one Brahma. And all these Brahmas are also created by Garbhodoksai Vishnu. Therefore Vishnu Tattva is the absolute truth. Now it is explained in the part part. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sri Deva asserts herein that Sri Krishna is the original personality of Godhead, and all others are his direct or indirect plenary portion or portion of the portion. Sri Lajiva Goswami has even more explicitly explained the subject matter in his Krishna Sandarbha. And Brahma, the original living being. Jiva Goswami has got six Sandarbhas. Thisi, Bhagavad-sandva, Sandarbha, Krishna-sandarbha, Tattva-sandarbha, Vriti-sandarbha, like that. So, uh, these books are, I don't think it is published in English. Huh? So these Sandarbhas are uh, so philosophically discussed that uh, throughout the whole, whole world there is not a single philosopher who can defy this Jiva Goswami six hundred months. Uh, our uh, this Gaudiya Sampradaya, we belong to Gaudiya Sampradaya. Uh, not Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from the disciple succession of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We have got immense literature to understand God. One who wants to understand God through philosophy, science, argument, logic, uh, so to supply them uh, material, we have got immense literature, Vedic literature. So one of them is mentioned here, Krishna Sandarva. What is Krishna? Mm -hmm. And Brahma, the original living being, has explained the subject of Sri Krishna substantially in his treatise named Brahma Sangha. In the Sama Veda Upanishad, it is also stated that Lord Sri Krishna is the divine son of Devaki. Mm -hmm. Some of the uh, foolish scholars, they say that Krishna was uh, a, I mean, it's a powerful, uh, what is called, averaging. <laughs> and the Krishna worshippers have taken him because he was very powerful. Krishna is always powerful, but they have misinterpreted him this way. Uh, Krishna is mentioned in the Vedas, just like these books, Brahma Sangha. Brahma Sangita is only description of Krishna and this book was composed by Lord Brahma. Nobody knows how many millions of years ago this book was composed. But we understand that it was composed by Brahma on the authority of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Our process is to take knowledge from the authority. We don't bother whether Brahma Sangita was actually uh, 
written by Brahma or not, the so-called scholars, uh, anthropologists, and what is called uh, archae- archaeologists, they may go on talking. Uh, but we have got a very uh, nice process to receive knowledge through parampara system, Vedic succession, disciple succession. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was traveling in the uh, southern part of India, South India, uh, Adi Kesha Mandi, there was a temple, still the temple is there. He uh, found out this Brahma Sangita in handwritten. Uh, formerly there was no printing press. So any important Vedic literature uh, was being copied. Uh, suppose you have got some copies. Uh, I want it, so I uh, borrow from you the book. And I copy in my handwriting, or I engage somebody who has got good handwriting. In this way, uh, in Vrindavan, still there are so many handmade, handwritten literature. Uh, they have opened one association, uh, society. They are collecting all this handwritten literature. So this handwritten literature, Brahma Sangita, was collected by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from a temple in South India. And he delivered to his immediate disciples. So this is Brahma Sangita, uh, written by Brahma. It is the summary of the Bhagavad, Srimad Bhagavad. So uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives reference of Srimad Bhagavatam uh, uh, with Brahma Sangha. That means Srimad Bhagavatam also is eternal. Uh, they are not man-made, manufactured books. Uh, the Vedic literature means, as it is stated in this verse, Tini Brahma Rida. Brahma means Vedic literature. Sabda Brahma. Uh, so he distributed uh, the Vasudev, original person, absolute truth. He uh, um, transferred this Vedic knowledge, Pene Brahma Riva. Brahma was alone. Uh, he could not see Krishna. I cry. But Ishara Sarvabhutana Videsha Arjuna Tista. Krishna is everyone's heart. So he taught him from within. Krishna's name is Chaitya Guru. Uh, guru, spiritual master from within. Uh, so Krishna is trying to help us from within. And he manifests again uh, externally also as spiritual master directly teaching. So from within, from without, he is trying to help us. Krishna is so kind. From within and without. Tini Brahma Rida Adhikava. So this Brahma Sangita was written by Lord Brahma and in Brahma Sangita, the name of Krishna is there. Ishara Parama Krishna. Beginning. That is fifth chapter. Uh, there are hundred chapters. Only fifth chapter is available. So, in the beginning of that fifth chapter, Brahma says, Ishara Parama Krishna. Satchidananda Vidya. So how this rascal can conclude that Krishna was uh, in, in some years, or some hundred or five hundred years ago, 
there was a uh, real boy, he was very powerful. So in this way, these rascal so-called scholars, they are misleading first. Therefore we call them simply rascals. They do not know what is the truth and still they write books, they write commentaries, unauthorized it and mislead public. This is going on. Krishna is not manufactured. In the Brahma Sangha there is complete description of Krishna. Vishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadidadi Govinda Sarvakarana Karanam, the cause of all causes. Janmadda uh, Sujata, Vedanta Sutra says the absolute truth is that which is the origin, original cause. Original cause. The scientists they are trying to find out the original cause of creation, but they are creating their own imagination. There was a chunk and it burst out and then planets came out and, <laughs> and where from this chunk came in all things. So this is that. So if you actually want knowledge, then you have to take knowledge by this disciplic succession. Because you cannot speculate. By speculation, you can never arrive to the absolute truth. That is not possible. Athapite deva padamujaddam prasada leshan grihita evai jana titattam bhagavat mahimna na chana eko pi chirang vichin. Chirang vichin. Chirang means perpetually. You can speculate, but you cannot understand what is God. That is not possible. Hmm. You have to know God from a person who knows God, or God personally, just like Krishna. Krishna's name is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Sangita. That means Brahma knew Krishna. That means Krishna was uh, before Brahma's birth. Original. Before creation, Krishna was. Not that Krishna is a product of this material creation. Just like we are a product of this material creation. This body, everyone knows, it is a product of material creation. My father and mother created this body. My father and mother's body also created by somebody, somebody, somebody. Uh, Krishna's body is not like that. Krishna's body is beyond creation. Ahamiva uh, asamagre. Because there was no creation. And uh, Krishna was existing before creation. Then how you can say Krishna's body is material? That is not true. So when there was no material creation, Krishna was there. Therefore his body is not. Uh, therefore Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma Karma Ajopi San Abhyatma. I am unborn. Abhyatma, eternal body, is still I take birth. Bhutanam is Rupi San. I am the Lord of everyone. Still I appear. Oh. These things have to be understood. And if we can understand Krishna, Janma Karma me Vidvam. These are all transcendental knowledge. They are not ordinary knowledge. Vidvam. Transcendent. His appearance, his disappearance, his work, his activity, his pastimes, they are all transcendent. So anyone who can try to understand Krishna in his uh, transcendental position beyond creation, uh, 
beyond creation, even Sankaracharya, the impersonalist, he says, Narayana para of Bhaktiyat. Narayana is beyond this material creation. Abhakta. Abhakta means there is a total stock of material elements beyond this universe. Uh, there are so many things to be learned. This universe you see just like a ball, and this ball is covered by layers of water, fire, air, earth, like this, circling. And each layer is ten times bigger than the previous layer. In this way the universe is covered. And beyond that covering there is another sky. We are prison here within this universe. We are thinking that we are very free to move in the sky with oh, what is called Sputniks. But you cannot go beyond your limitation. That is not possible. We are going to the moon planet, again coming back. You see? That is our conditional life. That you are conditioned, packed up under certain uh, regulation. If you violate, then you are punished. You cannot violate. You have to remain within the conditions of material nature. No. You cannot violate. If you want to violate the laws of nature, then you will create another difficulty. Another difficulty. 